And what we have here is a good condition Gilmark Atomic Moon Rocket. And it's listing it's listing like that because there's only three wheels on the bottom. Number eight. And as you can tell, there's a repair there. Ash, can you see this? But it's complete. And I'd already had a Gilmark Mars Atomic Super Rocket uh, missing its tail in section and as you can tell they are somewhat different vehicles the beautiful bird's head raised canopy on that one is now I guess just a front cockpit area this looks more like a transport vehicle and they're very hard to find Pristine examples will command a princely sum. And obviously these two are not, but they're good enough for the photo-based uh, sort of art, diorama-like art work that I'm, I'm currently pursuing. And let's take a look at Blast Off uh, by Young... Dwin and Richardson, my apologies to Steve if I'm mispronouncing your name. And here on page 13, we have a rundown of Gilmark's essentially put together spaceship designs. This image shows a mixture of ships, including a couple by Midge Toy and I think one by Pyro. Not sure what that is actually, but there are the big favorite put together Gilmark vehicles and you can see there the I think that's the Mars atomic rocket in yellow with the complete tail structure and there's the moon rocket in red also with the uh, complete structure and I got my money's worth these things are these things are very rare I'm already wondering if there's a way that I can clean up some of the some of the excess adhesive that was used when trying to repair it. Um, and though they're totally different, I got out my rivet ships too. And this odd looking little space car, I, I'm, I still don't know who made this one. Soft plastic, not quite a track performer. Uh, but these are the, the, the rivet ships, the hard plastic versions are were made by Premier and I believe the soft plastic ones are copies produced maybe by Peyton in the 1950s and these these were uh, I think packaged as Flash Gordon ships the Gilmark line was more uh, generic they were just space craft and there's an intricacy with which they were designed that you can just tell by looking. It's a hard plastic. You can tell by looking at it how absolutely fragile these things are. And I'm already thinking about how I'm going to pat, uh, uh, pat it within my collection boxes to keep it from mishap. There we go. Two Gilmark ships.